how to deal with fearful thoughts, uh, anxious thoughts that are arising without you inviting them, without you choosing them. You see, a big misunderstanding here is that there is something to do with your fearful thoughts. There is something to do in order to get rid of those thoughts. This is a very big limitation in the conventional uh, paradigm, the regular way of looking at things. Whereas what you'll notice is that during the spiritual process, a greater maturity will be cultivated within you where you will start to recognize that anything that you do not want in your experience, you do not have to do something. You do not have to make them you know, not happen. It's not an action that you take because that often just reinforces the energy and the attention going towards that very thing that you do not want, keeping it in your existence. You're quite literally supplying it your fearful thoughts and your anxious thoughts with your life force, your energy. And so the way to be free of the fearful thoughts is through observing the fearful thoughts. Now, don't just say here, oh, okay, you know, that I've tried that, it doesn't work. You must understand what, when you're being asked to observe, what it actually means. There's something, some place within you which can observe the fearful thoughts and not react to the fearful thoughts. This capacity you have within you, but you may have never exercised this capacity because you do not even know about it. And that is what the very act of observing, meditation, actually allows you to realize that you are able to look at the fearful thoughts arise and not have to do anything about them and not have to believe in them. You can simply look and let be. You'll notice that there's a very, very, very big difference between thinking thoughts and recognizing the observing of thoughts taking place. I'll say that again. There's a very big difference between thinking thoughts and recognizing the observing of thought taking place. In one, right, in the thinkingness of thoughts, you believe in the thoughts as my voice, and you continue to just breed more and more thoughts, fall further into the mental projections, supplying all those projections with your energy and focus. And in a way, you become terrorized by the very things that are going on in your own mind. So in this way, your mind becomes your own enemy and you suffer. Whereas when you recognize that there's a natural observing of these thoughts taking place and that I have the capacity within myself to be the observer, the very seeing of those thoughts without passing any further mental commentary, without thinking, oh, why is this happening? Or can I get rid of this, right? Just the very observing, the very seeing without the thinkingness, without any interpretation, without passing any judgment. You see, for example, if I bring this object, which is, is just like an adapter, right? For some cords. Can I, can I look at this object which is a physical object, can I look at this object without having to describe it, the shape of it and thinking about which chords go in where and what it, what the function of this is, what its purpose is, why it looks funny, where it came from, what it was made out of, what color it is. You see, that's the thinkingness. That's the interpretation. That's the judgments I'm passing. Like, I don't like the shape. I like another shape. And that is what you're constantly doing with your fearful thoughts and all other thoughts as well and everything else that you perceive. And that's why you just stay stuck in this constant dialogue. And then you stay stuck in the thinkingness in which you are stuck in the mental prison that it creates around you and the suffering that then ensues. Can you look at this object? Just see it. Pure observing without any interpretation, without any judgment without any describing. And you can actually 
train yourself to do this with a physical object first because you see your thoughts are much more subtle. They are not a physical object. They are a subtle object, invisible. Yet you know them though. They're very, very real. So perhaps you could even start with a physical object, but then, you know, are you able to look at your thought, your own emotion, and simply see it and let it be rather than see it to describe it, to further think about what it means and all that stuff. You see? One, you free yourself. In the second, you just further entrap yourself within its projection. So you must learn to see the fearful thoughts for the sake of seeing them. This is full confronting your thoughts, full facing your fearful thoughts without believing them in any way. In the beginning, it will be difficult. In the beginning, there, there will be great belief. There will be great identification. There will be great, perhaps even judgments and interpretations arising. But just stick with the practice and you will see that slowly you will start to recognize that you can see without belief. You can see without you know, caring so much for what it says. And this will create a great space between you as the observer of thought and the thought, which is just spontaneously arising, saying all sorts of things. You'll also notice that when you're not in the thinkingness of thought, the moment you arise, right? The mo let's say a fearful thought arises, the moment you recognize the observing of the thought taking place, the moment you recognize yourself observing the thought, the thought may very well just vanish. And then perhaps another thought arises and you, re you recognize this taking place. You see that this is not you. This is not your voice. It's simply a voice arising. It doesn't have to be me or mine. And that is a beautiful freedom that you will uh, cover, uh, uncover, you, that you will realize and in that very realization, you will deepen your understanding of what you truly are. And in that very realization, you will the fearful thoughts will start to decrease on their own. The negative projections will start to decrease on their own. See, they need your constant energy, your belief, your identification, your thinkingness in order to perpetuate themselves. They cannot last without that. So once you are stepping in as the observer of these thoughts and you're truly just seeing without any interpretation, without any judgment, and you're sticking with the practice, you see this is very important because you say you, you may do this like one or tw two times and then you're just like, oh my God, Sonny, it's too hard and it doesn't work for me. And then you just get distracted in whatever else and whatever other thinkingness. And you see, it, you can't work against yourself. If you're, tr if you're truly wanting to do this, then you must stick with the practice. You can't just want the fruit from the tree, but completely ignore the tree itself, the planting process of the tree. Care only for the process and let the result come of its own. That is a great gift that you can give to yourself on the spiritual path where many things don't make sense, where many things you know you can't yet mentally comprehend. Let go of the fruit. Let go of the, the subtle little realizations and everything that you're trying to achieve. Just focus on the practice. And that's what we do here on the channel. That's what we do here in my, in my program as well. Only focus on the practice and the actual implementation, the living of the teaching. And through it, you always, always bear the fruit of the teaching. But you're not just constantly then just waiting for the fruit. You see, you're not just waiting to get rid of something like your fearful thoughts. Or you're not just waiting to get this out of your experience or attain a different experience. You're truly devoting yourself to the practice. So this is my invitation to you. Approach this practice. It's simple little observing with, with great dedication, with great genuine interest. And you will see the fruit of it come of its own. Okay, and see that this observing can happen anytime during the day, not just when you're sitting down for meditation away from everything. Even when you're in the middle of great activity, thoughts are still arising and you have the capacity in that moment to recognize that there's an observing of these thoughts happening and just be the observer. Just be the observer. Let whatever is arising within the observation arise and subside. And acknowledge this one simple fact that 
what is being observed, whether it be fearful thoughts or pleasant thoughts, that is coming and going, that is arising and subsiding, that is changing. Yet the observing is sort of changeless. It's not changing in quality or degree. It's just the observing. So you're establishing yourself in something that is much more stable than your thought, which is constantly changing, transient, impermanent. So you will find great benefit in this. Stick with the practice. I hope that this video helped you. Uh, if you want to deepen your understanding of this and you want to sort of accelerate the, the clarity with which you see this, uh, you have many options available and resources available in the description box below. Uh, you can attend my free upcoming webinar. You can attend my free one-hour class, or you can also join me in my coaching program, The Higher Consciousness Shift. Uh, all wonderful resources which will really help you implement this teaching, practice it consistently, and bear the fruit, right? Gain the clarity, the, the detachment, the space, the seeing, a greater self-understanding as well. So please take advantage of those resources. That's all for me for today. I will see you in the next video.